get a better shot at his head from above. But you do not control them. Control them. I only wish to survive them. <sighs> Your bones will forward the cornerstone of a new world ruled by Yodna. Your time has passed. There is no turning back the seasons. If our doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it! Yeah. his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, Trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've fed it more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cop. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules, who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh. You festering ball sack, swollen with the foulest drippings of Ymir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. You may be the author of your own destruction. <clears throat> Leave him. He'll do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Hooger magic, they call it. I'll travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Loki's son must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both.
Ahí. Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I have been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself, but I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned, I felt. I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sighed a wolf cup, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by a great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy, warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time. And the Nornir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there is something else. Hope. 
I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream is faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared. spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you... I would like to see what you have in stock. today. I'll see you later, friend. Bye, Eivor. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. What are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor! We need your help! Who's we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... There's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No. They're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry! What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon! Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Come on, Eivor. Can't you run any quicker? Knud, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Your dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She is crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. Ah! 
door. I must be cautious opening it. I'll free that wolf and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least this end came quickly. Wait! Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is... Oh, more wolves! And not <laughs> Stand back! <laughs> Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. De Wolfka. What? De Wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? The Wolfka. It has an absurd sound just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now, we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did. And we got a new friend. Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, scamper off home and take your new friend with you. I want to see the Alliance map.
What about Xenophershire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire. Sigurd will be pleased to see you.
What do you see? Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. Soldiers on alert. What's happened here? House. This must be it. Follow me to the casks. This way, huh? All right. Be wound. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Wise on nerve, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with merchant soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. Haven't you some murderous errands of your own, Bessem? Why are you here at all? My path crossed with Sigurds long ago. We work together now, toward a single purpose. Brother! We should be fortune alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Aver, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Ava. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Gietrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eva, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom. He follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so incredible, so incredible. Be, be my eyes. Our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the Lords of Mercia, then all of England. We keep our wits about us. Your life 
wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and well there will be time enough for my saga later what's going on Show me. I'm feeling a bit dry, are we? Come here! 
Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy-ass bastard Alfred, we won't have it. Edwin, you're nothing now but a churlish widow. What power you had lies rotting in your husband's grave. You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms, free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. We watched you. What kind of mess did you get yourself into? you fight well. Thank you for that. Giedrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! Off again, Eivor. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Bassam spoke of? An ally, Eivor. Yeah. A most important ally. A holy woman.
have a look, Sunan. There's the trial. They will attack on sight here. to execute the prisoners. See you, old friend. Stay close. I'll help the others. Gidrid sent me to find you. Let's go now. Fight for Gidrid!
it's all safely over there. We fought with our Weasley Elderman for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He's safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. However deranged she might be, my brother wishes to meet her. The sooner you make this happen, the swifter this war will end. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Giedrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. The thanes that died here were honorable and just. By my faith, I'll raise a fear of able men and take revenge on Edwin. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. Soldiers here now. Giedrich has cleared them all out. They took my old friend. Oh. Sisters, cousins, aunts. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Giedrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? In spite of our efforts, some were killed. Damn good men, all of them. I swear I'll gut Edwin to honor those we lost. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Giedrich. My axe is yours, my brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could chip away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. 
When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinabella Castle. Let's go. Sail! Catch the wind! My eyes soon. Reef sail! Near an old harbor. This is the camp. What I've learned about Fulke, she's not shy about sharing her esoterica. If we ask her one. And here's Eivor. Ah, you time things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Alvanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I've already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from Nave to Crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question, because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly, never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd. You know I would never betray your... your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Giedrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for... So What do we know of this woman? Very little. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother.
Show me what lies ahead. I need your eyes, my friend. Et dixa ad eos rapscaeus Andreas Dominus Noster, et cia ita es. Quod es trebent officini in historium pabulum, the prabient delicta patum. Enter this sanctuary. This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you! We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Choose, Friar. Stand aside or fight. If we must come to blows, my lord will protect me, and my reward shall be assured. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you... Sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. 
Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth... Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fouquet is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. All this secrecy for a carved stone, Sigurd. To what lengths will you go when you have a real mystery to conceal? Perhaps I should...